All right, guys, welcome to the 25th ever episode of Dope Talk TV. It's yours truly, low key. Got John here with me, got Jay here with me, got Ivy in the back. You already know how the fuck we're rocking, man. We're back with another episode. You already know how we get down, so go ahead and roll your blunt, roll your J, pack your bong, pack your bowl, get your torches ready, and get rocking with us, man. We get we get high on this show, bro, for real. But, real um, high, real high. But yeah, man, we're back with another episode, and... uh we wanted to do a special shout out today, man. We we haven't acknowledged this group of people yet, but uh, we wanted to acknowledge you, real stoners out there, man. Salute to you, the real ones. Salute to you, real stoners. Not the ones that smoke like this. Not, not like this. You know how they be smoking? Yeah, real you don't stoners. smoke it like it's a dick. <laughs> Fucking that didn't make sense. Smoke. That didn't make sense. To inhale the smoke. To, I didn't. I don't. I, I thought it was gonna make more sense. I heard it different in my head. <laughs> Nah, but for real, man, we, we want to shout you guys out because nah, you guys real. don't get enough recognition, man. The real stoners out there, salute or to respect. you, man. We respect you guys. We with you guys. You know Why what can't mean? I just salute. smoke a joint at the park? Facts. Right? Because somebody next to me can smoke a cigarette and be a piece of shit and kill everyone's lungs, but I can't smoke a J at the park in yeah. public areas. They'll pass you a six-pack before a joint. Because even in Colorado, you know, you can't really, like, smoke in, in like, parks and stuff. But people can have a cigarette at a park. Yeah, it doesn't make sense. That doesn't make sense. That's tragic, bro. You know, fuck you if you smoke cigarettes. You're a piece of shit. I'm just kidding. But don't nah, but for real, man. It's 2020, guys. Let, let's get off the cigarettes. Let's get off the tobacco. And let's get you know on what I'm the saying? weed. Roll some joints. Perspective. Roll some joints with some good herb in it. You know what I'm saying? And get right. Get right, man. For real, for real. And if you don't, then who cares? Facts. If you don't, who cares, man? It'll be a waste, though. It'll Ooh. be a waste. But speaking about waste, man, we wanted to talk about the first subject. Um, first subject today is wasted talent, man. Wasted talent, guys. How do you guys feel about wasted talent? Man, everybody got talent, man. I feel like everybody has potential. I don't agree with that, but go ahead. Ah, man, I feel like I feel like everybody has their own talent. I mean, I believe ways. that yeah. everybody's got a talent. Some people are good at talking shit. Some good are good at being pieces of shit. Exactly. Some people are good at just fucking being dickheads. Yeah. Some people are good at not having good hygiene. Some people are good at being slobs. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. <laughs> I think that some people are completely useless. Some people are good at being useless. <laughs> You know what I mean? Everybody's good at something. Yeah, everybody's good at something. Uh, I guess, I guess. <laughs> like it's the perspective. This? I mean, I'm just looking at it from a positive light, but there's those people that, you know, for lack of a better word, they need to be put in a gas chamber. Like a happy gas chamber, though. Like one that'll like, like kill they go them to sleep? slowly. Yeah, oh, like they oh. just go to sleep and never wake up again. Jesus, that's horrible. Something happy. Nah, yeah, but honestly, scary. going back to uh, one of my favorite movies, The Bronx Tale, bro. Like, one of my favorite lines in there is, there's nothing worse than wasted talent. You know what I'm That's saying? True. There's nothing worse than wasted talent. And it's everywhere, I feel like. Like, like. like, even, man, I have even relatives, bro, that I see with so much fucking talent, bro, and they ain't doing nothing with it. Like, fucking do something with your talent. Yeah, you know man. what I'm saying? It's if your you responsibility to show your talent to the world, man. And who gives a fuck what other people think? Fact. And if you're not maybe as good as the next guy, that might be... Have, the problem is this. Me and my cousin... We're talking about this today, right? He's very talented with music. At The Real DeVille. You can look him up at his SoundCloud too. SoundCloud.com slash The Real DeVille. D-A-R-E-A-L-D-E-V-I-L-L-E. Boom. The Real DeVille. Shout out to that. But anyways, we're talking about that. And he's super talented with music. But then there's people that want to be like him. And they're like, you're so good, I want to do what you do. But they don't see that he does that every day, all day. He goes to work, gets out of work, and just writes. And right. freestyles all day. Yeah, you got to yeah. hone your craft, man. You got to work on your yeah, craft. Yeah, bro, that's the only It don't way. come overnight, man. I don't care who it is. You know what I'm saying? You can look at the biggest stars from, you know what I'm saying? From yeah. from Amor to the biggest stars, man. They all work on, the gra- on their craft more than... Than that's, what people think. That, you know yo, I mean? Conor McGregor said it best when he's like, the people say he's so good, he's so talented, that he was born with this gift. Yeah, they said, think that it's nah. luck. Yeah, he's like, this is just pure obsession. Yeah, bro. people say that workout. it's luck, man, and that that's there's true. nothing lucky about being successful. People see an artist and be like, oh, he's a one uh, overnight success. Oh, my, I hate that shit, overnight success, bro. I just said that earlier today. Really? And that's crazy how that's you say blind. how people that are like with born talents and stuff yeah. like that. Mm-hmm. There's people that picked up a, a glove for the first time and now they're yeah. in the MLB. There's Facts. people like mm-hmm. Luke Combs. That's a country singer. He, the first yeah. time he picked up a, a guitar. A guitar was like 21. 21, you know 21 years old was the first time he touched a guitar and he's a multi-platinum artist. Country now. artist. Bro, but look at these Asian kids that are five years old, can't even read, but can play Mozart. 
Yeah. Yeah, man. You I think that you're that. born like you're born with certain talents. Like you're you're prodigies. Yeah, you're called to to whatever it is you're called to, and it's your responsibility to go do it. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So for don't real, waste for it. That's don't the point waste here. it, man. That that's the point of the first topic, guys. If you have a talent, regardless of how you know dumb, quote unquote, you think it is, do it, man. Do it and and you know perfect it. Get it right. Get it right. Yeah, get it but, right, get it tight. But yeah, man, we're going to go ahead and move on to the second topic, which is something that we could dive in a little bit more into. You know what I'm saying? It's a little bit more, you know, grown. Personal. But, um, Personal. but yeah, man. Sex. Second topic of the day is, is sex, sex important in a relationship, guys? No, it's not. You is don't need it. Is sex important in a, you don't, you don't need it at all? Unless, nope. unless you're virgins. Get like a pocket pussy. Virgins. Yeah, if you both are virgins, then I don't think it matters because um, I know some people that are like 21 years old. And they're still a virgin. Right. Like I respect. Shout out to all my virgins. Yeah, shout out, out there. to all the virgins. For real. That man. should have been talk. the real Second shout out. Shout out to the stoners. <laughs> virgins is where it's at. Let's go back. Yeah, yeah respect yourself, man. Yo, shout out to y'all for respecting yourself. Yeah, because that's you know, you held out. Yeah. That's not easy in the does world we live in today. Does that count for like fingering and like oral? Yeah, you're still a virgin. Yeah, unless you that unless like You're sexually active, but you're still unless a virgin. Unless you do the bounce and, and the, you know and the and the boop and the uh. Y'all know what we're talking about. You know, we can't dirty. get too graphic on it. Yeah, we don't want to get too graphic, but there's blood you know. involved, a lot of it. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Jesus. That's scary. <laughs> nah, but honestly, my opinion is like, yeah, sex is super important when it comes to a relationship. I feel like if y'all don't click in bed, it doesn't matter what else you click in. Like, it's not going to work out eventually. Like, If you can't click in bed, you're going to have to click your heels and wish you were home. Facts. And wish your way the fuck up out of my apartment. Yeah. Facts. That's true. Bitch. That's I'm true. just kidding. Some people have relationships, and when they have toxic relationships, they think it's wise to withhold from the other person. Mm. So you got to speak more, man. But then they get mad when the other person cheats or something like that. But it's because they want to It goes back to the topic that I was saying earlier. They're like, like it says, if you if you're going to be petty with your husband, and you'll be like, well, I'm a... I'm going to keep the pussy from that motherfucker now for a month. And then after a month, and he goes and cheats on you, you can't get mad at him because it's your obligation. You signed up. And I know there's going to be women that are going to be tight about oh, that. Oh, yeah. Go down in you, the comments and yeah. roll, say yeah. what you got to say. But, but at the end of the day, this is the, if you're making that commitment or that vow, that pact with that one person, that should be it. You can't get mad, right? Because you have sexual needs. If your man, right, you was all horned up and your man didn't want to give it to you because he was mad. He's like, for a month. And then you cheated. Same thing for you. He can't get mad at you. Vice versa. So I ain't just, yeah, I ain't just, ain't just thinking of a dude. It goes it both ways. Facts. Yep. Big Dick Danny told me that. Listen, bro. He wouldn't lie to me. <laughs> long, long John. Long John. Long John. John Long. That's Shout out to, to John Long, me. too. There you go, John Long. That could have been. <laughs> they, used to, they used to call me that. Back Johnny then, Long. Man. That's Johnny Long leg. Like. Johnny Long, because he used to hit the bong. No, bro. John used to be white. I used to be. Now he's Puerto Rican. I switched. Half white, half Puerto Rican. He's Norican. Mm. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> no, he, no, it's Puerto Rican. Puerto oh, Rican. Right. Yeah. That's going to be on the first. That's going to be on the first. Puerto Rican. Yeah. Fuck is y'all niggas talking about? Yeah, My know. dog Puerto Rican over here. Puerto Rican, I like it. Listen yeah. to Mav. Yeah, yeah. Listen know, to Mav. Bibbidi bobbidi. But yeah, man, that leads us to our next topic. So we already established, you know, we feel like sex is important in a relationship. Now, if sex is so important in a relationship, do long distance relationships work? Well, in 2020, they do with a little bit of Skype. A My brother in law, he used to be like when his Damn, wife was in trash. Florida, right? When he was in Florida, he was in New York. He's like, all right, bro. He's like, I got a dip about to have a Skype session with Dan. And I was just <laughs> like, what do you mean? He's like, what do you call it? Dirty Skype? He used to call it. <laughs> Dirty <laughs> Skype. Shout out to Dirty Skype, dog. I ain't gonna lie. I used to do that. Yeah, bro. We've all, <laughs> we've all had our fair share of that yeah. shit. But is it going to sustain your needs, bunny? No. No, 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 no. That's why you got to get the pocket pussy. Damn. Pocket pussy with, while you're on Dirty Skype? Uh, yeah, because it's got to be. You got to be like, babe, I'm going to use this. Okay, <laughs> I, I mean, put it straight to the camera. Like you're there. 
I kind of made this contraption, and then you move the Skype, and you show the contraption you made out of pillows, <laughs> and it looks with her cut out face, you're like, and I'm just going to put this pocket pussy behind it. I uh, think you would never get another Skype I'm gonna, session again. I'm going to put this <laughs> I'm gonna put the tablet over the right. mannequin face so it looks like her face as you can the see me. Tablet over the- you see where I'm going with this? I'm trying to make it as real as I can. Bro, oh nah, that's God. fucking trash. Now you know what What's your pocket- personal opinion, John? Do you think long long distance relationships work? Um, yeah, I mean it depends on the situation. I feel like if you guys known each other already and you guys try to like work it out, um, I think it it could work out. You know what I mean? But if it's just somebody that's just like random that you've never met before. And you don't know their life. You don't know anything about them, really, like in person. I feel like you're just taking a big risk. I feel like John's setting himself up for a long... He's, he's yeah. setting up for a long distance relationship. Yeah, you know what I mean? Facts. You know what yeah. I mean, John? Yeah. Hey, you, you know, know what? what I mean? But I'm going to tell you yeah, my yeah, opinion yeah, about yeah. that. <laughs> I got to say. I think <laughs> that... How long is too long keeping it long distance? When it, like, when six months when tops. As soon as I six my months tops. In six months, if y'all haven't figured out who's moving where, who's doing what, who's... Hey, let it go. Let it go. Because that's, listen, what? Yeah, you just don't know. Like, it's people, there's loyal people out there. Though. No, of course. You know of saying? course like, there's loyal people, bro. Like, but sometimes but it's you not. might be the loyal person. Yeah. <laughs> you know what they say? You know what, I'm saying? You know what they say? You might be the loyal one while the person, you know what I mean? <laughs> nice, that's nice guys, how I go. Nice guys finish last. Nice guys always finish last. That's true. That's yeah. a big fact. That's yeah, true. Man, they always say that. Yeah, they always say that. that. I'm facts. a complete dickhead, and I did fine. Oh. <laughs> I'm a complete facts. asshole. Facts. Every time I'm an asshole, I like thrive My wife life. reminds me how much of an asshole I am all the time. And she's like, babe, why are you such an asshole? I was like, I was born this way like Lady Gaga. Leave me alone. <laughs> Don't judge me. Don't judge me. Nah, for real, for real. I wasn't shy and sweet. Yes, we did I listen. I let me right get into this topic. This is on. This is an off the hip topic. Since my wife is the one that's back there talking, she wants to get into this topic, and I'm gonna tell her because she's like, "Oh, when I first met him, he was very nice." My ladies and gentlemen, this is called the honeymoon phase. Fact. Let me yeah. explain what the honeymoon phase. That's it, a it's fact. It's the phase where you're fake you. You know what I mean? <laughs> you smile. You're the that. extra nice you. You act shy and sweet, and then three months later, she sees you fucking stomp out her cousin and put a gun <laughs> down his fucking throat. And she's like, babe, I didn't know this was you. I was like, bitch, get used to it. I'm just kidding, babe. I didn't say that. I'm just kidding. Yo, this nigga sleeping downstairs tonight. I'm just kidding. No, I didn't say that to her, but she found out real quick what time it was. Fuck. No, bro, facts. <laughs> but yeah, they, I think that's true. There's always that stage, bro. There's always that stage. Bro, where yeah. everything's just so great. You love them. You, you can't... And then, like, fast forward a year, you're like, yo, nigga, come pick me up, bro. Cabrón, yo, yo necesito salir de la casa porque esta cabrón me tiene loca. Yo, me llamo puñeta. Were you nervous when you first got married? Fuck yeah, bro. Yeah. It's a big commitment. Yeah. I was so nervous that me and Ivy were like, we weren't smoking weed. We were trying to do things right. And the night before, you know how you sleep away from me? Yo, I was with my boy Christian. I'm like, yo, you know where I can get some weed? And he's like, yo, you said y'all said you promised each other you weren't gonna smoke. I'm like, bro, I was like, I need weed. Yeah, he's told me this like three years. <laughs> 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 I got high as hell before the wedding, bro. I got yo, tall. that's fucking crazy. That's bro. crazy. You know what happened? It was so great because the day before the wedding, we went and got the weed. Me and my boy Christian, we went and got mad munchies. We walked. Because it was a nice, like, a gas station down the street. We walked, and then we locked ourselves. Okay, we was in church, so that's why we wasn't smoking, too. And then we were staying at the house of these really churchy people. And then Christian was their son. And then it was like, yo, let's smoke, whatever. I'm like, you, you get weed? He's like, yeah, I can get bud. I was like, bad. I was like, text your boy. He's like, I haven't talked to him since I started church. I'm like, fuck it, text him. Text him. Yeah. I was like, I was like. And I then, need my shit. Yeah, yeah I was like, I yo, smoke, I, remember, bro. I hadn't smoked in a while. Fuck that. So I'm just like, yo, get that shit. And he got it, bro. So when we leave, we get the snacks, bro. And then we come back and we locked ourselves out the house. Got it. And I'm like, damn. And I was like, you don't know anywhere. I, used to, I was like, yo, we're going to have to knock on the door. He's like, damn, I'm gonna have to wake up William. That was like his stepdad. Damn. He's like, he's gonna know where I like, Fucking William. Still. I wanna fuck with a guy named William. Nah. Remember William? Nah, man? you could tell William was about his business. Yo, we opened the door and we were so awkward. Because you know, he didn't probably know we were high at all. But you're high. <laughs> yeah. So you're paranoid. Yeah. And yeah, I'm like, making no eye contact. He's like, oh, why are you, boy? You didn't take your key? We're all like, nah. I'm trying to go around the like. <laughs> but he probably never knew, but I know we smell that weed. No, bro. Yeah, we're high as fuck. Facts. That's it was crazy. like smoking for the first time. Yeah, sometimes it's like that, man. And then Ivy got mad at me three years later for lying hey, about it. That, you know, that's marriage, right? You get through it. It's not Goes back to my topic. <laughs> <laughs> now she's over here sitting behind nah, the camera man. smoking weed. Fuck lies, though. Speaking about lies, man, that catfish shit, guys. Yo. That catfish shit is a is serious, man. Like, 
How do y'all Yo, feel about that? What bro? was you saying, John? It happened by uh by oh, your crib? Yeah, yeah, yeah Deltona. It yeah, it happened in the Deltona area. Um it was a guy. I remember in school, in high school, they were talking about it. Like the guy, like they were clowning him or something, because he went to Pine Ridge with us. Yeah. yeah. Supposedly. So uh but what was his name? His name was uh Raymond and the yeah. girl was Paola. Raymond and Paola. It was like 2013. 2000 that was in 2013? Jesus. Damn, that's that shit wasn't, was that was old. right when I graduated. So that was like seven years ago. No, yeah. what's up with you people catfishing? Like, be yourself. Well, I know crazy. I talked about the honeymoon phase and being the fake you, but damn, yeah. be it, that's my nigga. Don't extent. send, don't send a female no money that you've never laid your eyes on in person, or vice versa, yo. Like, cause yeah, get guys or too. girls, don't send nobody no money you've never met in person, and you don't even know if they're gonna be able to pay you back, like. Yeah, you don't really know them, bro. Like, the yeah, thing like, is, it's not even so much about sending money. The profiles are fake. The pictures are fake. Uh, somebody did that to Ivy one time. We ran across a profile that was like, like Ashley. What do you think? I think what do you honestly, to happen, I think some people know that that it's fake. It's just that they they're yeah. like, yo, I've never had this before. I've never, I've never had somebody had yeah. show me this much attention. La película, la película. Yeah, so they like want to imagine that it's real, yeah. even yeah. though they deep down yeah. they Se know that. Like, yeah. yeah, like yeah. Yeah. It's the typical like the first thing you yeah, imagine. Say your name or hold your picture or something. Yeah. Like, hey, what's up? It's me. Just so you know that it's me. No, but some of them don't even talk on the phone. They're like, you've been talking to this person for yeah, years. Yeah, it's like, you oh, it's only through text. Voice. It's I, like, I usually say FaceTime you right off the bat. Yeah, like, yeah, that's bro. Like, that's, yeah. Facts. Yeah. Big like, facts. Yeah, if just, you ain't trying to fucking. Just bro, we FaceTime. live in a crazy generation where, like, bro, with now with those date deep fakes that we talked about that one time, yeah, I feel like yo soon they're gonna be able to fake what the fuck they look like on a camera. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's that's crazy. Like this. Yeah, yeah, imagine. Cause think about those filters they put. Yeah, on those no 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 those filters shit. are getting crazy. Like they yeah. bitches are cutting half their goddamn jaw. Off. <laughs> <laughs> For real, bro. And then like, she comes out looking like crimson chin. It's like, <laughs> damn. Yeah, like don't Fast. lie. Big Which goes fact. into the next topic about like if you're a dude, right, and you got a, a a a sex change, like should you disclose that information before having sex with another man? Yes. Yes, that's how. Because that's there how are co- there are there are a couple women that I've seen that look like men, but like I don't know, you can't really tell, man. I don't know. It, it's, it's a it's, respect it's, thing, it's, it's bro. Crazy, man. It goes back to mutual like, respect because yeah. I'm gonna respect you if you're a man that's cool and you got a sex change that's cool but Facts. respect me that I might not be okay yeah, with sleeping exactly. with somebody like that that's all it's not sometimes I hate Puerto Ricans <laughs> I'm just kidding I'm not gonna make it raise it no but Puerto Ricans no Puerto but Ricans. that's the thing is you need yeah. to disclose that information because it's the same shit it's like roofing somebody yeah that's man you, you fucking... nah bro I feel like it's just it's dishonest bro and it's distasteful like like it speaks volumes about a person. Like, yeah. if like, bro, let give the person the option. Because give like, what if you want to have a kid, right? And then like, right. you you get with this person, and then like years, and they're like, oh, we're trying for a kid, we're trying for a kid, we're trying for a kid, and it never happens. Then years later, after all this, now you got to tell them the truth, and now it's gonna get ugly. Yeah, and now exactly. there's been time invested, and when you invest time into anything, it gets ugly. It does, yeah, uh, not just that feelings and shit. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like, and then trust, bro. Think about a fake life. You're with this person for five years, then find out you the reason you can't have a kid is because they were a man before. It, it could be a very nasty situation. Nah, you could probably die yeah, there's time back. there's yeah. people doing life in prison about situations just like that. So yep. be honest. For it's real. not. I don't mind that you're a dude. I'm just not gonna sleep with you. Yeah, I ain't yeah. Just be you. real, bro. Yeah. I'm gonna let you suck my dick. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga's wild. Nah, he's serious. He's serious. Nah, he's dead ass. He's dead ass. He's dead ass. Nah, hell no. Nah. Anyway. <laughs> nah. <laughs> but yeah, no, nah, I feel like you should definitely, definitely tell a guy. But um, but yeah, last last topic of the day, guys. This is a, this is a real one. Do you guys think that you could trust a cheating friend, a friend that cheats on their spouse, whether male or female? I feel like nah. you can't trust anyone who cheats, period. Nah. Nah. Facts. How am I supposed That's to trust you? How, like, if you're going to do your wife dirty, the person that you sleep with every yeah. single night. The person that's supposed to be your partner. Or your life. husband. It's just supposed to be a big deal. It's yeah. Not like it's just a little fling. Yeah. Nah, but even if it's not marriage, like, even if you're in a relationship, yeah. it's just, it's disrespectful, Where's bro. Like, loyalty? it's like, yeah, yeah like. Nah, nah, that's crazy. Nah, nah. yeah, I, I feel like. It makes you suspect. Yeah, I feel like if you're if you're willing to treat the person that's like your ride or die like that, then you don't give a fuck about anybody else. But, but yourself, your own family. You don't even care about your own family. 
Yeah. Bro, it, when you're married, there's just so much that goes into marriage, bro. It's like, it's not you. Like, if you're a boyfriend and girlfriend, you have no kid, you have nothing. Bro, fuck it. You could go your separate yeah. ways. Never yeah, talk to bro. you back. I'm not going to judge you because you're a little, you know, you'll play it. You but know, when you whatever, got a kid, cool. bro, you're stuck with that person. Yeah, like, exactly. no matter how much you hate him and how much it blew up, you got to connect with him for your kid for the rest of your kids. So your kid's a grown person. Yeah. And then even nah, then, you might yeah, single, even then, bro. Because what if something happens to your kid? Yeah. yeah, what if something happens to the kid? Yeah, that's not kids what don't work like that. It doesn't matter what you say, it's about, they do what they see. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yep. You know what I mean? That's a fact. Yep. Yeah, that's, that's fact. crazy. And so then, then you just start raising kids. Divorce yep. And are dating and are dating multiple people. Bad parents. You know, what, how do you think that's going to affect the child? You know, I mean, I know situations happen and it's not always planned. You know, some marriages don't work out. Yeah. But it still traumatically affects the child. That's why it's such yeah. a huge decision to get married. That's yep. why that's why you got to be careful in choosing your partner. You know what I'm saying? And like being just being cautious if you're not in a relationship and you're out here be living the single life. Be cautious of who you sleep with and and you know what you do cuz there's a lot of one night stand babies out here, bro. You know what I'm saying? And you still got to deal with that person. Most babies babies. Now, that is a fact. It does that happen. is true. Nobody plans to have a kid. But yeah, man. It, very few. Yeah, there's very few people that do plan to have a kid. Yeah. And even if they plan on having a kid, it doesn't come at the time they plan on having a kid. Yeah, that's yeah. true. You know what I mean? Like, they're like, oh, I want kids, but... Then it happens like yeah. six months. Like fuck, I wasn't ready. I don't have nothing to say. Like, they try like five times, and I guess their sperm count wasn't there. I don't know. Some crazy ass. Shit. Yo, bro, when like, it's your yeah. time, it's your time. If yeah. it's for you, it's for you. Yeah. For real. That that's how I feel about a lot of things, bro. So, about life, period. Like, if you're meant to have kids, you will end up having kids. If you're not, you won't. Some Asian lady told me that um, if you jerk off a lot, that is bad for like. They say that when you get older, you won't be able to like get hard. Anymore. Whoa. They said that if you jerk Dude, off you a do, lot. But that's not even jerking off here. a lot. That's just fucking testosterone levels start to drop in your yeah. body when you go that's, after 40, bro. Yep, yep. After 40, t- that's why men take Viagra and shit, testosterone and, mm-hmm. yeah. you know what I mean? That's crazy. Gotta, Whoa. Imagine, though, not being able to get hard anymore. Like, that must Yo, when like, you, so like Imagine man. when you get old, no matter what, just imagine your body starting to give out on you, but your brain and your inside, yeah, still you still feel like John now, Yeah. but your body just can't get up because it's fucking deteriorating that's, that's sad, sad man. that's, that's sad i have fr- i have friends that tell me like for real they're like bro i don't want to live to be that old that because I get they like thing. yo you're like you can't take care of yourself Somebody's you want to do things you, you want to and use. imagine you, know you can like, think you're crazy. like man i i used to bathe myself and now this yeah, lady now somebody here's got to fucking s- bathe me because i can't get up bro but inside here you're just like if you're blessed enough to you know still have that you would be like Man, I could do this, bro. Nah, that's sad, bro. I've seen that, bro. When I used to work for Dish, I seen this old man one time. I went to move his fucking big TV stand. He's like, oh, I got it. And he couldn't move it. And I moved it. He's like, there was a time when I used to move this all over this living room. Because he built the house back in the day. He's like, I used to move this all over. He's like, it's crazy. And that's who told me that. He's like, you know, inside, I feel just like you, he told me. He's like, but my body's just old. And I'm like, ouch. I that's remember I got sad, home, man. I told Ivy that. I was like, yo, some dude told me the deepest shit today. It hurt my heart, though. There's some strong guys, though. Like, older guys. Oh, yeah. Dude. yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I'd be wondering you, you how they maintain. do it. Uh, yeah, you can maintain. Yeah, you can maintain. But it's got to start young. Yeah, yeah, it does. You can't wait till you're old to then try to be healthy. Nah. Not yeah. 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 Fuck yeah. yeah, it's an accumulation of everything over time. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, stress, what you eat. Even, like, you know facial you shit. You know, like, when they say, you know, facial creams, yeah. they're like, you're not supposed to wait till you have wrinkles and start using them. You're supposed to wait yeah, when you're young to keep your skin good. Nice. Yep. Yo, because black people, they age the best. Yo, you know what they say? Black, black don't crack. Black, black don't crack, my black don't G. Crack. Just like yeah. Brandon. He's 40 years old. He look like he's 20. I be seeing yeah, some that old, is, some Yeah, ladies. shout out to you, Brandon. Yeah, you look bro. fucking like you're 27. Yo, black people age the best. That's that uh, hands down. I don't know any other race. Any other ethnicity that ra- that fucking... I like any race. Word. You know what I mean? I mean? There's ignorance in every single race. The yeah. fuck are you talking yeah. about? No. <laughs> Yo, what is it? That's facts what he said, but hey, no. So what? I'm racist. No, I'm just <laughs> Yo, finally, it comes out, you piece of shit. <laughs> Yo, my dog, <laughs> my dog is litty like a titty. It's all good. He's though. Puerto Rican. He's Puerto, Puerto, Puerto Rican, man. That's all it is. It's okay. That's all it is. We like Puerto Ricans for real. Yeah. Nah, facts. Some Honestly, guys, we're all Puerto Rican. Like, yeah, all of us. All, all born of us. Except really this guy, he's Dominican. Yeah, you yeah. see the beard? 
<laughs> Show Dominicano, the chest. Show him chest. Show him your chest. Nah, I can't nah. do it. It's too wolfy. You know what I'm saying? I'm not ready for it. Yo, speaking of chess, what, what were we talking about earlier? About hair. Oh, hair. Hey. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm going to tell you what, man. You know, I like my women bald. Bald. <laughs> <laughs> Ball. Get the fuck yeah, out of here! Ball, ball like, like you, my, ball like, like ball my ball fucking head. Right? And if it's not ball, damn. I don't want it. I don't. No, no. Like the little landing strips, okay. Nah. Yeah, Yo, you know what the problem is? Let me tell you. Hair stinks. It does. You know, Scientifically it does proven. Fast. Google that. Hair causes odor. Nah, bro. it that's does, bro. Gotta... And then that's a yeah, yeah, listen. Yeah, yeah. Gotta go baldy, well, ladies. Gotta go baldies. That's why I shaved my butt. Nah, but I got friends. <laughs> I got friends. My wife like, does it for me, actually. Shout out to her. Fuck she you. shaves my anus. Guess <laughs> what the fuck? I got caught in the middle of two different <laughs> conversations. <laughs> what the fuck? Joe just vouched. He said, fuck it. Guess a hold on. Let it yeah. shave your ass. Nah, I know some people that are like that. They're like, fuck it, bro. Just stick it in. Yeah, nah. You know? That's fucking I'm talking about shaving ass. You need to do some landscaping, man. Like you need to do some landscaping. Yeah. You know, like John said, if you got a strip, okay, cool. Cool. But I'm not trying to God, have a strip. Yeah, don't, don't have, strip don't have a, a guy. High number, a high zero, high. You know what I mean? It can't be like, you know, with, yeah. the, lo- with the low. It, got, it the- gotta be a one. Yeah, got, it, nah, gotta facts. it gotta be a it one. It gotta take a lot of hair. Not, a, no one, no not one. a four. I'm grossed out by hair. I'm grossed out by my own fucking hair. Like I said. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, it, nah, keeps hair, warm, yeah. it keeps you warm. Man, hair don't fuck. Bro, do you know that warm. they said that a man's men with beard, that the they most they did a study on dudes' beard, and they had more bacteria in their beard yeah. than like fucking New York City subway. Yeah, I heard. Damn. There you go, Supposedly. ladies. Sit on this guy's face. Yeah. You're going to get a fucking <laughs> UTI. <laughs> my, my beard's going to be all in you. Nah, no, no. Uh, that's fucking that's gross. There you go, there you go. Johnny's gonna get out with a wet beard. Imagine uh, that. Bro. He's gonna be smelling that for nah, the next if, week. If I shave fucking my beard, I'm gonna look like a fish. fucking naked mole rat. Do you shampoo on your beard? You shampoo? Yeah, I shampoo yeah. on my shit. Hey, you didn't answer me, so I know yeah, there's no shit in that. Nah, shit. You know what? He don't even buy you shampoo. Look, look at him. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, fucking eat shampoo nah, for? I just put Himalayan water on it and just Himalayan let it go. water. John Yo, Dick let's Bash. ask this question because he's been fucking he's asking. Passionate, he's passionate. Yo, do you guys think that Himalayan water comes from the Himalayas? Or do you think it comes from the dumpsters on the side of the <laughs> I think it comes from your fucking tap. I think it I think that Himalayan water comes from they take regular water, they dump it on John's face, it filters through the beard, and they pick it up on the <laughs> Facts. No nah, fucking fuck water right here. I'll tell you what. The drip. You drink. You drink. Yeah, the drip. <laughs> this. You drink this beard juice. This shit. You gonna come out a man. Mm. You gonna Yo. grow a patch of hair yeah, right I'll in your fucking you face. Nah, facts. <laughs> right Yo, Santos, come get a fucking lick of this beard over here. Nah, Santos needs this shit. Grow a fucking beard. He can grow three that. hairs on his chin. <laughs> <laughs> it took me like thirty years to grow this fucking little piece of patch of hair under my chin. I'm nah, not blessed. I'll you got you a soul what. patch, brother. You got a soul. Patch. A soul patch. I got one on my chest. Yeah, I'm not gonna show you because I don't want to get R-rated and YouTube start flagging our shit. Yeah. Because I'm showing too much fucking magic. Too much Mike cleavage over there. Too nah. much magic, Mike. For real. Channing Tatum. People say I look like Channing Tatum a little bit. People say I got a nice ass. Yeah, I see it. I see the resemblance. I, people say you got a nice ass. That's weird, but I can see it. Yeah, I squat. I don't, I've I never. Squat. I can tell. I can tell. I, squat. I think it's the white pants. I can tell. I don't know. Maybe I look like MJ. Sometimes. No homo. Like but, MJ. You know. Woo. Oh, I thought you meant Michael Jordan. Oh, this nigga's wild. It's the ball. Wild. Yeah. Oh, you meant yeah, that's Jackson. about that time, guys. Yeah. That, that's <laughs> that's what that means. So we've come to y'all with another episode. We appreciate everybody Yo, that's rocking with us. For real, for real, man. Subscribe. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share yeah. with your friends. Share and go it. down in the comments, man, and let us know what you guys want to see us give away going. at 1,000 subscribers. Yeah, and let us know if you guys agree with, with what we say. If you don't, if you think we're full of shit. All of that. Yo, just just let, let, us me, yeah. let us know. Let us know, man. We want to know. Let us know. You already know how we're rocking, man. It's been yours truly, low key. John. Jay. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs>